Yeah, what about the question about techniques versus um, methods? Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of overlap between hypnosis, visualization, mm -hmm. and meditation. Well, like I said, hypnosis is really guided visualization. It really, it, but the hypnosis, the term means altered state. So it's not in itself, it's just a state of mind. You're in hypnosis, you're in the hypnotic state. But the technique itself can be used in many different ways. So like, hypno uh, like uh, the hypnotic state, like I said, you're with a doctor. He says you have six months to live or you're, mm -hmm. you're going to get better. You're in that. He, he's not intentionally hypnotizing you, but it's that hypnotic state that we're in. Visualization is a technique. Um, meditation is a technique that is using that altered state to manage the mind. And the thing is... We can think positive. We could learn to, you know, train our mind to visualize. But we really need to understand the discipline of how we focus that mind uh, in everyday life. And then also as a coach, we train our coaches to how to hold their mind uh, with their clients and what they're projecting onto the clients and how to really help someone in a deeper way. And finally, uh, how do we use these uh techniques in in Jungian coaching mm. so well I want to talk too about Jung and uh, you know Freud used hypnosis and created the talking the talking cure which is actually just talking to someone um, Erickson uh, used the story uh, the power of story so someone would come into his office and I think it was this there's two Erickson's I can't remember which one it is but he would tell the client a story and it had nothing to do with anything but then the client would feel better and it was just kind of a metaphor so metaphors can be used but uh, Jung uh, came up with active imagination which is when we can open for the first stage is you open up the mind to um, to that relaxed state where you can welcome in the unconscious and then the second state is interacting mm. with the symbols and in a creative way with not a I'm going to take this symbol and make it something I'm going to like l like kind of explore and, and let the unconscious show you like a deeper wisdom of the unconscious show you how to work with it so that's one of the things that we teach in our coach training is how to use active imagination and we use that um, we can use that with emotions the emotions that arise we can use it with dreams symbols and dreams and then we can also use it as um you know just that guided uh there's a guided visualization too that would be just going ahead and using that state of uh altered state to create something new in our life but mm -hmm. the active imagination is also a different way of using visualization yeah Jung was um quite a visualizer mm -hmm. if you read uh, his uh, red book mm. uh, uh, it's like he was in a continual hallucination mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, thank god he did that work because he he was exploring basically the power of the the psyche mm -hmm. to generate all of these images and mm -hmm. stories from within very powerful stuff